Dance test. So we're creeping up on eight weeks of our piglets being on the ground. And as you can tell with our sows, uh, they've, they've definitely lost their baby weight and getting sucked down pretty good from the piglets. <laughs> I'm going to town over here. It's hilarious to see a piglet that big nursing. But um, so it's time to wean and do some other things at this time that we do. So uh, we want to show you why and how we're going to build our weaning pasture. And we, we actually are going to be killing two birds with one stone today, or with this pasture. Paddock. I don't think I do have it, actually. <laughs> do you want to take over? All right. <laughs> Somebody needs to. No! <laughs> right, right in the solar plexus. Um, so the, the paddock... I, we're going to quit calling it a pasture. The paddock is just going to be a small fenced in area right behind our fairween barn here that will not only separate the piglets from their mamas, but will have a single strand of electric around the inside so it'll train them at the same time to electric. So we're going to do two things at the same time. We're going to wean and we're also going to train. <laughs> Run! So we're back here behind the fairween barn and I came in here last weekend with the tractor, cleaned up our scrap metal. We had a bunch of junk piled up here and still have a little bit of junk we gotta take care of. We gotta get some of this old tin out of the way. But came in and leveled this off a little bit. This is really the only size paddock we're going to have. We don't need anything huge. We wanted it flat for sacrificial purposes. But my plan, if you watched some of the videos prior, I was talking about cutting a hole in the back of the building here so a door for them to come through. And thanks to comments by, from viewers, Many of you suggest, or several of you have suggested, hey, why not just use your existing uh, farrowing uh, corral that I made when I was trying to keep the girls locked up for their farrowing and just allow the piglets to come around. I wanted to use some of this fence. I wanted to break it down and use this fence for this area, but realize I've got some old uh, woven wire. I've got some other wire that I can use, and that really makes sense. It keeps me from cutting a hole in my barn, um, and obviously it's less work to do. So we're going to use some woven wire we're going to use uh, we're going to take this panel out and i've got a little gate that we're going to use so we're just going to see how that shapes out with what we've got uh, set it with t-posts and put it in here so i salvaged these components from our previous weaning pasture that we had down behind the sawmill and the reason why i, I expressed this in another video the reason why we're moving it up here is I want to, we have a premium of flat land down there, so I want to do more with that area where the sawmill is and the edge of the barn and get the pigs out of there. They destroyed that hillside, filled in my ditch, blah, blah, blah. So that's why we're moving it up here. So the first thing we're going to do, I took this gate and we're going to set this gate here on the back corner of the barn, set our first T-post and then of course just make a horseshoe shape with our woven wire to come around here. Uh, obviously just want a gate just so I can have I can let them out on that side, let them out on this side, or let them in however we want to look at it. So we're going to start here, get the gate mounted, and then of course drive T-post and work our way around. A little trick I learned setting a lot of these gates is you can, they've got little flat spots on these for pliers and those things, but that just keeps stri stripping out. So finding a piece of pipe that fits well is a good idea. So this half inch conduit is perfect. Grab the pair of orange handled pliers out of the toolbox, please. Okay, what I'd like for you guys to do is let's take that wire off of the tractor 
unroll it and starting right here at the gate we're going to come around to this corner here and let's just see how how big that makes that paddock and then i'll start setting t-posts yeah yeah that corner Stick your fingers in my ears, please. Go towards the fence charger. Go towards the fence charger and then five more feet beyond that is what he wants. Don't let that hanging down touch the fence. Okay. And then you just snap it in the back. See how I did that? There you go. You got it now. Okay, you gotta make sure it clips in the back. Here's yet another reason why we need to pin these little suckers up and get them trained to electric. I don't know if you can see this. Let's try to zoom in here. Those wee devils are down there where I've seeded grass in the old chicken pasture. They're eating all my grass seed that's just starting to sprout. What are you going to do? So we've got our paddock shape made and fenced off our panels that we created, what I call the Jordan Green panels. I love using those. I call him Jordan Green just because I've seen him use them, and when I've talked to him on our podcast, I uh, really, really like his setup. So I'm sure there's other people that built these. It may not be attributed directly to him, but that's what I call them. Anyway, these Jordan Green panels work out really well, but when I've built them, I put too much gap in them. I was thinking you're know, keeping hogs, um, keeping the gilts in, and not worry about them slipping through. The piglets can squeeze through there, so we're going to put just a, a couple nailer boards on that bottom row. Uh, to close that gap up a little bit. But I've got that shaped out, and what we're doing is we're taking our 14 gauge wire here, and Liam ran it down the hill for us, and we're gonna run it like a transmission line. We're gonna run it high, and we're gonna connect right to this outside corner of this Jordan Green panel. And uh, then we're gonna, we're gonna put some insulation, insulative, here it is, I wonder where Kelly put it. We've got some insulative tubing that we're going to put on the stretch from this corner down to where we'll actually start our run around the corral. And the reason for that is uh, just to keep from grounding out as it goes through the hog panel. So just stuff you can buy pretty cheaply. I get this at my local feed store, but it's, uh, it's made specifically for running electric wire through it. Stand up straight with you. Realize this means more. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Right there. Here's, um, back up a little bit more with it. 
And Kelly, stretch it tight and touch it to that vertical 2x4 there. Here? Yeah. Okay, stop right there. Don't let it unwind. Okay, hold that. Mm -hmm. Go to you, Kelly. I need a black one. All right, now Liam, let's <laughs> continue on around. <laughs> Keep going all the way to the gate. All right. Liam, hold this end when I cut. And then you stick your hand through that hole and bend it, okay? Right there, do that. Can you move that out of the way? Liam, can you put it back on? You want that back in chief? Yeah, actually. You can put, all you this can back put in that back in chief as well. Okay, so we got our fence stretched all the way down to the Energizer. Fence is hot. Here's our insulative tubing that then goes to our hot and of course, the hot goes all the way around on the inside. Um, we took this panel and put it here, just cobble, scab, scab together something right now. The plan will be, eventually, when we separate the pasture here, that we'll actually set a pole. I get the post hole auger up here. We'll dig a hole and put a swing gate here. So this is just a, a temporary weaning fix. Um, over here, would you go away? Excuse me. So over here we have our gate. I went ahead and stretched the electric wire all the way over and attached it to the side of the barn. Uh, this isn't necessarily a pig in or out right now in the, during the weaning time. This will be a human in and out. So the plan will be to step over it, of course, swing the gate closed, chain it, and you can see it doesn't come in contact with the electric. Single strand all the way around. That's another reason I like using that 14 gauge wire, very visible. The pig should be able to see it easily, where the 17 gauge sometimes blends in. So you may be wondering, well, how are you going to get the piglets in here? Well, we're going to use the fact that they're hungry right now, because we haven't fed anybody today. And we're going to use kind of like a creep process. So you can see this backboard of the corral is down. So all these little hungry devils here that are eating feed and like feed more than they like milk. Well, I guess maybe it's a 50-50. We're going to bring a bowl of feed in here first. Lure everyone in. The mamas, of course, will not come through that. Well, at least that's the plan. And get all the babies on this side when they're then. Set the board up. And we should be cooking with gas. Yippee, big, 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 big. Uh. 
Yippie, pick, 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 pick. So put just another scab board in there, and that uh, deterred the sows enough to get all of our piglets over. They're over now. Now I'm just going to go around and look for little squeeze under spots. When it comes time to nurse, they're going to be very anxious to do so. So these areas where I don't have electric fence, they're going to test that as much as possible. We want to shore all that up. I got this board mounted and screwed in, and I don't think they'll squeeze under that. test. So ideally, it's best not to have them stressed out, unlike the farmer who gets stressed out. But if they slowly discover this, then they'll accept it. <coughs> like that. See how that pig turned? He sees the obstruction, feels the shock, instead of shooting straight through instinctually, they turn. They're actually pretty smart when they figure that out, when they realize going, further, going forward is going to be an issue. So they turn pretty quickly. So we have our swinging half door here, our Dutch door, and we utilize that later this week when we go to give the pigs their warming shots. And that will obviously reduce the amount of area we have to chase them around. In fact, we'll be able to close this door down and may even use some sorting panels to make it even half the size, so I'm not uh, doing the old pig chase. Although it's very entertaining for those watching, not for those doing. in your door? Is that what it is?
think I'm walking through the trough. Little jerks. Probably get up there and take a leak.